Hi friends, welcome to Creo Tutorial. So in today lecture, we will make this 3D drawing in the Creo Para metric. So let's start. So for making the new models, we will click on new, click on part and OK. We will go here and we will first make these two circle of radius 22.5 and 12.5. So radius 12.5 that means the die is 25 and uh, 25 and 22 into uh, 45 25 and 45 click on extrude click on uh, this plane normal circle and give the dia 25 and 45 okay it is very simple what we gonna uh, do next is uh, we will extrude this we will extrude this part we will extrude this part up to up to 50 mm up to 50 mm and fr fr from the mid side uh, from here click on symmetric and we will extrude it up to 50 mm and click on ok so likewise our simple part is ready then what we gonna do is we will make this part we will make this part how we will make this part so from this from this center plane this plane it is at the distance of 35 plus this radius 15 mm is equal to at the 50 mm so we will select this plane we will click on plane and give the distance 50 click on ok and our plane is ready right now then we will uh, click on the sketch we will click on the normal view first we will make the center line ok then we will make two rectangle then we will then we will make here two rectangle rectangle in which the width is 13 mm the width is 13 mm okay and the distance between these two rectangle is 5 mm so this distance is 2.5 and this distance is 2.5 and according to this according to this radius the r is 15 so diameter is 30 30 so we will give here the distance is 30 and 30 30 and 30 okay we will click on ok click on extrude in the reverse direction up to the surface to the next so to the next it will extrude and we will click on ok so likewise our part is right now ready then what we gonna do we will make the R simple R for that we will go in the round click on this face this face and this face click on ok again go in the round click on this face this face and this face click on ok then we will cut it we will cut it by the rate uh, by the dia of 16 mm go in the extrude select this face click on the normal view click on circle trace the circle uh, circle center give the dia of 16 click on ok reverse the direction and click on ok so likewise our extrude it our extrude is ready again we will cut here some portion here 
so we will go here we will click on the extrude click on the normal view we will make one rectangle here make one rectangle here of the 5 mm 5 mm click on ok in the reverse direction remove the material and up to this so likewise we have cut the our material so right now i think it is okay it is fine we will go here and we will use this the setting with edges options okay this much portion is right now ready then what we what we want to do we want to make uh, this part for that we need a we need a plane at which height this is 15 this is uh, at the distance of 35 at the distance of 35 select this face click on plane give the dimension 35 okay minus 35 minus 35 and click on ok extrude click on the normal view then we will make this two radius one radius is 7.5 and 17.5 click on circle 7.5 so give here the dimension 7.5 into 2 ok and 17.5 into 2 17.5 into 2 this is ready and the distance is from this center to this center the distance is 75 mm so here give the distance 75 ok I think it is ready then what, what we will make we will make the line simple line again make this line again here make this line ok this width is 15 mm this is 15 mm ok this is 15 mm we will go on the line command and connect this two line we will go in the delete segment remove unnecessary lines which is not required ok ok so this portion is right now ready so we will extrude it we will extrude it up to 5 mm upside and and 15 mm downward side click on ok extrude it up to 5 mm on the upside click on ok again we will go here click on extrude click on normal view click on normal view and again go here cancel it click on section click on extrude normal view circle and trace it again make one profile again here again go on the go on the delete segment and remove this unnecessary line click on ok 
in the reverse direction give the dimension 15 mm and click on ok so likewise this portion is ready then what we need to do we want to connect this part we want to connect this part for that we will go on this plane click on the extrude click on the normal view and we will connect it with the help of line it is tangent with this line ok so go here and click this again click on tangent this line and this circle click on this line click on the mirror command select this axis ok again go on the circle go on the circle or the arc or the center arc and make the arc again go again go here and make the arc go on the line make one line here again make one line so our portion is ready click on ok so we will extrude it up to we will extrude in the reverse direction up to 10 mm on the reverse direction up to 10 mm so this portion is also ready right now ok and what we gonna do we want to rib here up to 10 mm so we will go on this plane we will click on the rib or the profile rib click on the normal view click on the normal view click on the line select this line and this line click on ok in the reverse direction and we will rib up to 10 mm and click on it. so likewise our rib is also ready so i think our all uh, our full 3d part is ready right now i am hiding this plane so click on select all here so likewise you can see our part is fully ready according to our 3d isometric view here we have give the dimension of 16 mm so it is okay perfectly fine no need to worry okay so thank you guys very much guys for more updates uh, please do subscribe and share thank you very much